Jerry Nankajas as IBF Junior Bantamweight Champion. Jerry Nankajas was born and raised in Panabo, Philippines, a suburb of Davao City. Jessa, his younger brother, introduced him to boxing in the second grade. Before turning pro in 2009, at the age of 17, Jerwin won multiple national titles, including a gold medal at the Pelerong Pambansa. In amateur boxing, Jerwin Ankarjas had a 95 record. Jerwin Ankarjas is a resident of Barangay, Ramirez, Margallans, Kavte, with his brother, Jessa and Kajas, Mar Gallans, Kovte. Basta Sports, J. Melo. 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 That's what I follow, Basta Sports J. Mello. Welcome to our daily dose of boxing videos. In July 2009, and Kajas made his professional debut. He defeated Rex Tito in SM City Lipa for his first major title, the WBO Asia Pacific Youth Junior Bantamweight title. Jerwin and Kajas lost a majority decision against Mark Anthony Giraldo in his 15th professional fight. On September 3, 2016, he fought McJoe Arroyo to become the IBF Junior Bantamweight Champion. For the bout, and Kajas received only $3,750. He had an 11-bout winning streak when he entered the battle. And Kajas outboxed Arroyo and dropped him in the 8th round to win unanimously. On January 29, 2017, and Kajas successfully defended his title defeating Jose Alfredo Rodriguez by technical knockout after Rodriguez was unable to continue due to injury. In July 2017, Ankarjas defended his title against Tyru Kinoshta on the undercard of Mene Pacquiao Jeff Horn. Kinoshta was beaten by Ankarjas, who opened a gash over his right eye and punched him to the body before dropping him with a right hand to the body in round 7. Kinoshta won the count, but the referee stopped the bout giving Ankarjas the TKO victory. Ankarjas defeated Jamie Conlane by TKO in round 6 on November the 18th, 2017. Conlane had been beaten since the first round when a body shot knocked him out. He was dropped three more times before the referee stopped the bout. Referee Steve Gray docked and Kajas a point in round five after an excellent shot to Conlane's abdomen. And Kajas successfully defended his title for the third time in 2017, all by technical knockout and in separate locations.
and Kajas signed with top rank in December and stated that he would make his American debut in February 2018, defending his title against Israel Gonzalez in Corpus Christi, Texas. On February 3, 2018, and Kajas successfully defended his IBF title in his US debut. And Kajas faced IBF number one ranked title opponent Jonas Sultan in his next title defense. And Kajas won the bout by a substantial margin on all three scorecards, 119, 109, 119, 109, and 117, 111, respectively. And Kajas fought IBF number 14 Alejandro Santiago Barrios on September the 29th, 2018. Barrios was a strong opponent for the IBF champion, but the bout ended in a draw, allowing Nkajas to retain his title. Nkajas then faced number one IBF contender Yuichi Funai in his next fight. For most of the fight, Nkajas had the upper hand, as Funai took some of Nkajas' finest strikes while failing to respond with any of his own. In the seventh round, Ankarjas defeated his opponent. Ankarjas successfully defended his championship against IBF number 14 Miguel Gonzalez on December 7, 2019. Ankarjas won by TKO in the sixth round. On April 10, 2021, Ankarjas was set to defend his IBF title against Jonathan Gavier Rodriguez for the tenth time. With scores of 115, 112, 116.111, and 117, 110, he won the bout by unanimous decision. Basta Sports, J. Mello. Basta Sports, J. Mello. Kabayan! Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel.